Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Style Saturday. So I did a poll on Instagram, I feel like it was a while ago at this point, asking if you'd rather see mom jeans or flare pants, like black flare pull-on pants styled. Overwhelming majority said mom jeans. So that's what we're going to do in this video. I will eventually get to the flare pants, but the ones that I had purchased in my head that I wanted to style didn't work out. They were too short. So I need to find a really great pair. So if you have any good recommendations for flare pull on pants, almost like leggings, but they have a flare leg, then let me know in the comment section down below. So in today's video, again, we have mom jeans. Mine are from American Eagle from a couple of years ago, I feel like at this point. I did go back in that video when I tried them on to see if they were still available, and they are. However, they're not available in this exact wash, but I'm showing you them showing them to you anyways because I own them and I didn't want to go buy a new pair of mom jeans just for the sake of this video. So you get the ones I own. They're linked down below. I'm in a size 20. I'll show you what they look like a little bit in more detail once we get into the video. But as per usual with Style Saturday, the idea is to pull things from your closet and style them so we're not buying anything new. We are reimagining things that we already own. This series has helped me so much just to style things differently. I get in a rut just like most people and I'll go for, um, you know, a basic V-neck tee with a pair of jeans and white sneakers. And I can do that over and over again. So these videos really help me to figure out how I want to style things I already own. Now, usually I go to Pinterest and I'll type in whatever I have. Like for this video, it was probably mom jean outfits or something like that. And then a whole bunch of outfits come up and I pick the ones that I like number one, but also the ones that have things in the picture similar to what I already own. I purposely don't put plus size in the search bar. I feel like that limits the search results, so I don't do that. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do recreate anything from this video, be sure to use the hashtag Style Saturday with Taryn because I'd love to see them. Now I will try to find, like I mentioned, the jeans or maybe some of the other items that you're going to see me wear. I'll try to find them and link them down below, but I think it's important to remember that you probably have something similar already. Well, okay, let me backtrack. Mom jeans are very much a trendy or like specific item, so you may not own those, but like this graphic tee, you probably have a graphic tee or a pair of booties. You probably have booties. You get what I'm saying, um, but I will link them just in case you see something and you have to have it. So I think we've covered everything. Also, I'm in a different spot. Why not? I'm in a rut sort of in that room and the way the sun shines right now is not doing me any favors. It's directly on my body. So we're gonna change it up. So we're here. So first outfit, let me go put some shoes on, style my graphic tee and I'll be right back. And here we are outfit number one. So again, this graphic tee says, let's go girls. How cute is that? Jack, okay, tee is from Chic Soul. Jacket is from Shop Curves to Contour. These really cute earrings are from Macy May. Again, my jeans are from American Eagle. Now the ones online don't have the distressing on them. They have light wash and like a green, like a sagey green wash. Um, but I'll link them down below anyways, in case you want to get your hands on some. White booties came from Brian for Christmas. So this is not a Pinterest recreation whatsoever. This was the first thing I had in my mind when I thought, Let's do mom jeans and let's do this like really cute look. I love the jacket. It's a little bit oversized, but not much. And I like that. It's a pretty close match to the wash of the jeans. I like the pop of white and the tee. It's a regular t-shirt. I've just tied it up here. And then the white booties. I'm so into white booties right now. These are super comfortable. Just a really cute... I thought somebody was standing right there. <sighs> I'm not used to filming here. Like I see this table, this entryway every day of my life, right? But seeing it in the viewfinder, anyway. Okay, so here we go, outfit number one. I think is so cute. I am going to, so I mentioned it in a vlog, I'm pretty sure I'm going to Nashville in a few months. And I this is the whole vibe of Nashville. Plus the Let's Go Girls reference is a Shania Twain reference. We know I love Shania Twain. I just think this is so cute. You could front tuck the shirt too if you didn't want to have maybe a peep 
of your stomach happening by accident, but I thought the knot in the front was really cute. So here we go. This is outfit number one. Is it my favorite? Maybe, but we do have some really great ones. The other ones are from Pinterest. This was just, I wanted to start it off with, hey, this is what I like to wear. And here you go. So outfit one, 10 out of 10. Love everything about it. Let's move on to number two. And here we are with outfit number two. Y'all, I'm also filming an Instagram reel in these outfits. I can't. I, it's making me laugh because it's a serious reel. Anyway, you'll have to go to Instagram to watch it. And if you're from Instagram to see the full outfits and you're here for the first time, welcome. All right, so next outfit, I will put the picture of the Instagram. Nope, Pinterest inspiration here. So top is from H&M. Shoes are Cole Haan white sneakers. I've been wearing these a lot lately and really like them. Don't get me wrong. I still love my Walmart like chunky white sneakers, but these are just a different look if you don't want a chunky sneaker. All right. I chose to throw on a headband with it. I thought that was a cute look and just some little like fake diamond studs. I love the muscle tee look. I own probably two or three for sure that I can think of tops like this. So I have this mint green one. I have a yellow like coppery, like a deep, like a deep mustard yellow, I should probably say, that has shoulder pads in it. And then I have like a brushed or like heather or burgundy one. But the mint one I felt was really summery, especially with the white sneakers and the headband. Now I will say this is a little bit too low on the sides. You can see my bra a little bit, but everywhere else it fits me nice. So I don't think a size down is what I need to do. I think that's just how it's made. So the Pinterest photo, she most likely has her shirt tucked in her bra at the top because you can see that bit of skin. I just front tucked it into my jeans it is a, a shorter top already, so that makes it easier where I don't feel like I have a bunch of bulk left over. But this is such a cute look. I will tuck it under my bra just so we can see how it could look. If you wanted, I don't know, if you wanted that. I've never tucked under my bra to go out anywhere. I'm just afraid, I don't know, something about it makes me nervous, so I always just front tuck or I have been known to do the method where you wear the belt, tuck it in and billow it over. Um, but here's what it looks like. Tucked into the bra. This is very cute, very comfortable. I love the summer feel of it. And again, these muscle tees, I'm super into. So look number two. Are we gonna dance like this every time? I just feel really cute in this. The headband also is just such a really cute addition to it. I have the headband in a tan and a pink as well, but I felt like the black was just the way to go. Next look, I feel like I nailed. Is it my favorite? No, but I'll put the picture here. So we have this really pretty top from Levi's. I did a Levi's haul, ended up keeping, I think this top, and maybe a denim jacket, a black denim jacket. I have yet to wear this top, but the sleeves, the color, the mock neck, everything about it is cute. Booties are from Bella Rose. My earrings are the same ones I was just wearing. Now her jeans are a little bit more like wide leg-ish at the bottom. So I think it works a little bit better with these boots, but I owned them and I owned a similar top and I was like sold <laughs> because everything could work really well. I don't think it really works that great for my jeans. Now, if they were wide leg, maybe, um, but anyway, I wanted to show you this. I'm going to go switch out my shoes real quick and show you how I would wear this top with these jeans. So I would just do little nude heels. I'm comfortable in these. These are from Target. I have them in black as well. I wear them all the time. I can walk really easily in them. So that's a bonus. They're comfortable. So this is probably how I would do it. Um, the white booties could be cute too. The white booties with the first outfit I had on with the star jacket could be cute too. So this is my take on it. These are just more my speed, I think, for this look. I don't know, y'all, this is another cute way. So we've done what? Like country-ish, we did super casual. This is a little bit dressy with the jeans. My favorite is still probably the second one with the mint muscle tee, but this top too is so pretty. I've also struggled with how to style this because it is 
it's not really cropped, I guess, it's just kind of short. So I'm unsure, like, do I wear it like this with jeans out? Do you tuck it in? You get what I'm saying? So this is easy for me to visualize this top and how I think it could be worn. I would wear my hair up a thousand percent just like this because you do have the higher neck. Okay, outfit number three. Love it. Outfit number four is super cozy, casual. So we have the white chunky sneakers. These are the Walmart sneakers. This sweatshirt says good vibes only. It came from Rev Dolls. I'm pretty sure. I don't own a white turtleneck to put under it for the photo. Also, I can't see her shoes, but I'm assuming it's a very casual look. The like chunky sneaker trend is happening right now. So mine aren't exactly that like super chunky sneaker that everyone's wearing, but this is what I like. Um, and again, I can't see her shoes. So I am assuming that a sneaker is at the bottom. I really like this look. I did switch out my earrings for the double hoop. These are from Target. I've probably worn this outfit, this exact outfit. I can't remember if I have or not, but this is very much a Tarrant outfit. It's very comfortable. I went with the green because she's wearing green, but the vast amount of sweatshirts I have is insane for someone who lives in the deep south where I maybe can wear sweatshirts for a month or two in the morning and at night. Like during the day, maybe not so much. And I just bought another one. I don't know what's happening to me, but sweatshirts I'm so into. Like this year and last year, I bought so many of them and I love them so much. So I've started, like I work out in this one a lot or I'll wear it around the house if I can't wear it out of the house. Anyway, that was total side note. Uh, but outfit number four is again, super cute, very much a tear in look. Left my hair down for this. Typically, if I'm super casual, I'm most likely not wearing makeup and my hair is just in like a crazy bun on top of my head. But here for the internet, my hair is fixed and uh, my makeup is on. But just know that for the most part, if you watch my vlogs, you already know this, I don't really wear makeup that often. So this look, again, I like it. No complaints, comfy and cute. And last, but certainly not least, we have this one. Okay, this one might be a favorite. Hi, the dog is walking. Hi, uh, this one could definitely be a favorite. The animal print top from Old Navy, same white booties. I have on the same little gold, like a double hoops in my ears. These tops, I liked it so much. So I bought it in a size, I think it's a size 4X for reference. Um, because I wanted to be able to front tuck it and still have a little bit of, I don't know, oversized nest left. I liked it so much. I also bought it in the green, like sagey green shade. This is more of like the white with tan. The green is green with black, like animal print spots on it. I love it as well in the same size. I wear it all the time. This is really cute. I feel very cute in this outfit. It's very comfortable. Okay, is this one my favorite? I feel like I did a pretty good job recreating it from the photo. Her top is more fitted, but again, this is more my style. So what do we think? Tell me your favorites down below, by the way, because I like to hear what y'all, or maybe not your favorites for me, but like the things that you like the most that fit your current wardrobe and your style, like the things that you are going to recreate and wear. So outfit number five. Okay, I think this one. Okay, we're gonna go with the mint green top with the sneakers is my favorite. This is my second one for sure. It's just so cute, so comfortable. Yeah, I love this. I could wear this today. I have nowhere to go. I could go somewhere to wear this today. Where can I go? It is warm today as well, so this is fine. Maybe if it was chilly, I could throw on like a long cardigan could be pretty with this. I love this one so much. Okay, outfit number five, 10 out of 10. I love it. Okay, so that's a wrap on this video. I'm squatting because I'm too tall for the, the tripod. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. That hurts my legs. We did lower body day today with my personal trainer, which means lots of squats, reverse lunges, Romanian deadlifts, what else did we do? We did all sorts of things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> I have nothing else to say. I had a really good time filming this, if you couldn't tell. I haven't done, I don't know.
know, like a style Saturday like this, I did do Valentine's Day looks, but where I style one piece like these jeans is really, really fun for me. So if you did like it, thumbs up, subscribe. Did I say that already? Check the description box for links to things if you liked something and you want to get it. Again, remember the premise of Style Saturday is to style things you already know, already own. See, I'm starting to get out of breath from squatting. Thanks for watching. You get the idea. I'll see you in my next one. Goodbye. <laughs>